Welcome to What's the 4 in 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. And I'm Onika McLean. Hey. Hi. How are you? We have celebrations. Everybody clap your hands. Turn up for Black Girl Magic. Oh. Kizzy Cox. Congratulations on your award with the National oh, Black Journalism Award, yeah. right? Tell us about it a yes, little bit. Yes, thank you so, so much. So Kizzy wasn't here, and so we couldn't be with you guys because we had to support her in her thank travels. Thank you. Yes, so I won a Salute to Excellence Award for the NABJ for a radio story I did about criminal justice. Yeah. So that was really, really, really like a good honor. I was like, oh my gosh. It was, yeah, it was great. It'd be you in know. Front of all you know, you guys like know. That yeah. Kizzy is power to the door going people. She do it for the culture. So uh. if you guys <laughs> can find that radio interview, we'll, we'll, we'll attach the link. Okay. We do yes. that, right? We can do that. Okay, we'll attach the link, and then you guys yeah. tell us what you think. Aww. But congratulations, baby girl. Thank you. Okay, so let's All get right. it started. Quick takes. Uh, um, 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 more amazing black people. Mm -hmm. Kenya Barris yes. is leaving his... A ABC, the pack at ABC. He is oh, leaving this month. Is that he's, crazy? he's pulling the Shonda Rhimes. He's pulling the Shonda Rhimes. Okay. Right. So sources say that he will remain executive producer for uh, Blackish on ABC okay. and Grownish and Bestie on Freeform. But he has this deal that's going to be with Netflix that's going to be phenomenal. Wow. I'm sure. So I'm sure they pay him a lot Netflix more and he'll have is, more freedom too. Netflix is just like psh, 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 all the cash. They changing everything up. They are really changing. Well, congratulations, Kenya. Yeah, congratulations. Yes, congratulations. And congratulations are in order for Tamron Hall. So, yes. So, she is on her way back to daytime. Uh, she's inked to deal with Disney for a new daytime talk show. And this is what she had to say in a statement. She said, I'm so thrilled to partner with Disney ABC to create a daytime television show that's unconventional, fun, intimate, and sometimes even raw. My new partner's appreciate and respect the relationship I've built with my audience. Shady, huh? Mm, she dabbed on Go ahead, Tamron. Dab, Turn Tamron. Light off. I'm gonna just, just, just dab on you a little bit. <laughs> I've built with my audience and know that if we create television worth watching, they'll join us for the ride. I'm so grateful and excited for this next chapter. The landing makes a leap of faith so worth it. So congratulations Aww. to Tamron. I can't wait to see your show. Yes, I can't wait. congratulations. Yeah. Other superheroes, Will Smith. Uh -uh. Right, so if you've been okay. following Will Smith, you guys have been following he's Will Smith insane. on social media because he's, he's becoming like a, a guru, like uh, this positivity yes. guru thing. So he yes. is partnered with Mark Hans Manson, and uh, they're going, they're shopping a book deal. Oh, yeah. So he what said, is he gonna write? He's, he's, gonna he's write self help stuff. So he said that he's okay. he's going to shop okay. around and they're going to go with the highest bidder, of course. But I think that that's refreshing. He he's a bit yeah. of a, a black Jim Carrey on social media. Yeah, kind of like kind of like that guru type yeah, like person. Zen, just be Very as positive cool. as you can. That I kind of saw like little bits of that early on. Like you know, he would always be kind of this positive thinking, kind of positive energy yeah. type person. So I, I this is a good look for Will. And then I, that, I that's that good, book. right, for the um, Red Table, right? Because now Jade is doing the Red Table on uh, on uh, yeah. Facebook. Thank so you. and she's like spilling all the tea, yes. which is a great show too. So good for you guys. Power couple. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Smiths. All right. So, you know, I would love to talk about Meghan Markle and have it be positive. But once again, her family is acting shady. So... <laughs> Uh, the father and sister are still doing everything they can to cash in on her, you know, new celebrity and royalty. And now, Meghan Markle's ex-husband is getting in on it. Ex-husband. Well, All right. Hey, you know, yeah. she had an ex-husband. They know it was coming. Uh, I can't believe it. I'm like, that's so tacky. Like, why would you do something like that? Like, why? But they did it to Diana. You don't remember they were like going into Diana's like closet and pulling out all kinds of old crap. They were setting her up. The media was setting her up. And remember they had that that photo um, of her and you can see through her skirt. Like the media does that to the to the new princess. That's just she's getting her stripes. Poor baby. They didn't do it to Kate Middleton, right? They didn't do it to her. Not at all. Yeah, like she was like America's well, the world's favorite. They just didn't. I don't know. I just don't. There's something about her being American and her being the first black princess. And, and then and divorced and having things. a whole life. Exactly. That makes her like fodder. And then she has obviously some like ratchet family members who are doing that. So yeah. Well, your ex-husband, you expect him to throw shade. Mm. I mean, come on. 
No, no. That's terrible. That's okay. terrible. So if you missed it, and if you did, you're under a rock. So Beyonce, yes. Coachella, Mrs. Carter. Yes. Everything. Blue's mama, the mother, two kids. The Lou. Green and purple. What's the other two kids' names? <laughs> green and purple. <laughs> I don't know their names. Sorry. But I mean, Ooh, I she, got, she got remarried <laughs> to Jay-Z again. Like, all things Beyonce is um, yes. phenomenal and black power-ish, right? Okay. She took black girl magic and just, like, blew the shit up, actually, is what she did. So now, in, in Beyonce form, she is uh, taking over Vogue. Mm -hmm. Right, so Beyonce and you know, and so this September, all all the magazines, black girls are just gracing all everywhere, the everywhere, every, like sweeping, everywhere, sweeping, everywhere, sweeping. Tiffany, everybody is, yeah. everybody Haddish, is everywhere. Who else? Issa Rae. Issa Rae. Who else? Mm -hmm. Who else? Um, I know. Uh, what's this beautiful girl? Uh, uh that's oh, a Naomi lot. Naomi Campbell. That's a lot I'm of people. I said, like, I got a beautiful girl. girl. Like, this Naomi <laughs> Campbell. Anyway, everybody <laughs> is doing everything, right? But Beyonce is. Taking over Vogue, right? Uh -huh. So she is having all creative control over the over the uh, the cover, right? So she, I heard about that. I heard about that. Yeah, definitely. So now, so what she has is she picked a black photographer. Now this black is the thing. Male. Okay, so we can give him his name in a minute, but this has never happened before Vogue, ever, ever. It's 2018 ever. Vogue. Like you, like okay, our. Okay. Tyler Michelle, Mitchell. Tyler, Tyler Mitchell, Mitchell is, is, is he, the how first How is this like 23 he's years old? 23 right? years old. The first time ever that a black man has been a photographer. And for Beyonce a, had a to pick cover. him. Right? Like, yeah. I'm telling you, when Beyonce did that, that's, that's, that Super Bowl, and she, she oh, did yeah. all that black power, <laughs> she tricked you, white people. Because <laughs> white people were like, wait a minute. Remember the Saturday Night Live skit? It was like, like Beyonce's oh black. God, black. Beyonce's black. Yeah, Beyonce exactly. is very much yes, Louisiana, Louisiana. Hot sauce in hot your bag, sauce swag. In your bag, okay. Kind of black girl. Now, like, don't yes. let that light skin fool you. Beyonce, go ahead, Beyonce. So we're happy about that. Yes, and they congratulations so to Tyler Mitchell. This man is going to go up, up, up from here. It's is it's a great break for him. Can you so. imagine Beyonce like, hey, this be? And you're like, what? <laughs> you know that? It'd be like, what? It's like it's like getting a call from Oprah. Be on the floor. I would wait. I, no, I would, I'd be like, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if Oprah called me, I'd be like, first of all, bitch, what took you so long? You know how dumb. You know how long I thought you was gonna call me Oprah? <laughs> you picking all these people, girl? Oh, oh if Oprah called me, I'm, I'm gonna give a, a mouthful first. I'm like, first of all, Oprah. We gonna see. Now I just want to call up Oprah <laughs> to get her to call her to but see what Oprah, Onika would say. I would say and Oprah. She'd be on the floor. What took you so long? She'd be on the first floor. of all, and I'm coming over. Like, where are you staying? Like, send me your address. <laughs> you know, like, put it with the zip code so the <laughs> so I can have like Google Maps just take me there. Like, yeah, Oprah. I'm uh -huh. just saying. You yeah right yeah you just saying you just talking I would and right. Oprah called me I I've been fantasizing her Beyonce Jay Z have all been my friends for a In very very long time very long we have been rolling for a long time okay. and Oprah just don't call like I don't get it you just talking you know who else is talking <laughs> K Michelle what is she talking, talking about? yeah so she, you know I I did not know this but she had a relationship with Idris Elba oh I knew that for tw in twenty fourteen for mm -hmm. a few months that was like. Like I think it minute. was longer than a no, few months. No, it was a Kizzy. few months. What y'all think? I it think was it was longer few, than a few no. months because she's can't raise a man. I, that was for Idris. Okay, it was a few ahead. months. Okay, so it was a few months, and now she's talking to. She told Hollywood Unlocked that uh -huh. they split up because he wasn't ready to settle down. Oh, right? he is not. Who Idris? At Alba? the time, which was oh. 2014, he's now married, but that's 2018. So why she so, talking about him now? She had a lot to say which we're not gonna talk about here, but what you gotta do is go to the interview and see what she had to say. What did she right. say? Did she say anything about his sex game? Because I think it would be a phenomenal. Of, of course. She of talked course. about it? Of course she did, of course she did. Oh, his, but his... we're not gonna say why it was phenomenal. See, that's why you gotta go to the interview, check it out for yourself. I can imagine he's British and mm -hmm. tall and a DJ scratch that thing. Yeah, fellatio, oh, I'm sorry. What the? <laughs> Wow. So what we can say is this. This is what she told Hollywood Unlocked. He told me he would never be committed to one woman. He said I would be taken care of, I would be fine, but he would never commit to one uh, woman. I don't even understand why would you need that with Idris Elba anyway. That other girl probably said, okay, 
You know, some, what they say, a one man's treasure is another man's trash or something like that. <laughs> Isn't it the reverse? Or something. <laughs> Whatever it is, guess what? If Idris Elba, if Idris Elba, let me speak English. If Idris Elba said, Onique, it's going to be three of y'all. And you can have me on Wednesday and Saturday. I'll be okay with it. Oh, God. I'm wow, okay it. like, wow. It's, it's Idris okay. Elba. I don't have to really worry so you about money. So you want to share your man? But you're already sharing them. These broke dudes, you be sharing them broke dudes. I mean, they have nothing, and you're sharing them. They just don't tell you. Oh, God. You I'm see? Saying, well, just, damn. Well, let's damn. tell the truth and shame the devil. Oh, I'm God. You see? that? That's terrible. Okay. That's terrible. Welcome back to What's the 411. Now, Kizzy has stuff that's popping, but I'm yeah. trying to figure out what's popping. What's popping? Let us know what's popping, girl. I'm okay. That okay. <laughs> I really don't act like that. So what's popping is woke and Hathaway. So you know she's always been this person who's really you know pro rights and you know being conscious of things. And she chimed in on the whole gun violence you know debate. You know how white people versus black people and they're affected very differently by gun violence. So Anne Hathaway is an actress, as you know, who is white. And um, she was really upset about what happened to Nia Wilson. Remember the young yes. girl who got stabbed to, to death, death by this white, yes. white guy? Mm -hmm. um, so she wrote on her Instagram, she said, in part, white people do not have equivalents for this fear of violence. And she's absolutely right. And even David Hogue, you know, one of the survivors of the Parkland High School massacre in Florida, he said he would use his white privilege to uh, draw attention to the gun violence that's often overlooked in the black and Latino community. So I, I, I applaud both of them Can for doing that. Can you use white privilege though? Like, I know that other people reported about this story and the white privilege part of it, people were like, oh, black people don't need white people to help them and all this stuff. Well, that's and the thing. So a lot of people are saying that. Like some black people are saying, oh, we don't need white people to help us. We're good, we're good. And other people are like, it's about time white people recognized their role in white supremacy and did something to break it down. So what do you think about it? Where do you stand on the issue? I, I'm perplexed by it because the way I, the way I see privilege is, is something that you just ascertain, you just have that. I don't think that you can take your privilege and make your privilege benefit another outside of you. I the privilege is in the mind of the oppressed mm -hmm. you know what i'm trying to say so so oh, if you mean i know the oppressor no of the oppressed right they have this privilege because we kind of give it to them white oh you're talking white oh you're doing stuff like white people. i don't think oh, so like I, that's my thought that's mm -hmm. my thought on it so i don't think that they can use their privilege to benefit anyone because we need to rethink that privilege in our heads people that are don't have the privilege you need to rethink it if and that think, makes and sense and think of it in what way like so black privilege so just being black you have a certain kind of privilege and and if you and if you take that mindset then then you'll you know you'll you'll take a power back it's kind of like no, okay i understand you know what you're I mean? saying you're you know trying, trying to say? say that black people shouldn't be victims and shouldn't have a victim right. mentality and i don't think they they should and i don't think most do i don't think that white but i think that can, Give over their privilege or lend their privilege to highlight something. I, I absolutely think they can, and this is why. Because I think that white people, not I think, white people created the system of white supremacy. They created it. They created this tiered system that said black people were at the bottom, right, they're right, slaves, right. They're, they're not mm -hmm. human. Mm -hmm. And they built all of the systems in this society to benefit to their benefit. You know, even in terms of housing, exclusionary housing, black people go into the ghetto, white people can get loans, um, all of those things. You know, the GI Bill and having right, it right, not, right. Mm -hmm. you know, distributed, systematic, systematic distributed racism. Equally. So systematic right. racism, right? Right. But it's so that, so that I think people need to recognize. So you know, okay, whenever you have conversations with white people who don't recognize their privilege, right? It'll go something like this. Well, I'm poor, I have to struggle, I don't have white privilege. And they don't understand that even if you have yeah, struggled, you do not struggle you don't have the certain, same. Right so, right. You don't, right, so you don't have certain fears. You're not afraid of the police. Right. You're not afraid of, that. right. Or even they've done stories where you have two people, right, with the exact same qualifications. They've even done experiments with this. A black person and a white person. Oh, right, and right. the black mm -hmm. person with the black sounding name will not get called in for an interview. They did it on uh, the and daily the white recently. Person. Uh -huh. Right. And so these are the privileges that you don't see. That's the thing. Like, 
like you said, white privilege is something that you just have without ever having worked for it. So it's something where you have to. I don't like, think you that you what? can still ha- give it to someone else. No, no, no. I don't mean. I don't think that or, white or privilege can, means giving it to someone else. I don't else. think it that you can highlight it because you have this. I, I just think that you can do. be mindful that you don't. Well, that's what that means. No, that's what that's that means. Not what she's be, saying. That, that is exactly what she's saying. She's like, we don't have the fear of violence, so we have to be mindful of the fact that black people are inhabiting a different space and a different set of circumstances, and we have to do something. I understand to change what Anne that is system. saying. I, just, so that, I can agree I, with Anne. I, I, I just agree. don't agree with the, the Parkland guy talking about, you know, lending his white privilege. It just, I don't know, it just rubs me the wrong way. Because, right, okay, think about this, right? You know, we've grown up in, you know, our communities, largely black communities. I mean, I know I did, definitely. And gun violence affects our communities. We've had this thing called black-on-black crime, right? Which every community has that currently. Yeah, everybody people has kill, that. White people everybody kill white kill people. Each other, right? <laughs> right. You kill who you know. Exactly. Well, you kill who you date, actually. <laughs> Mostly you kill who you love. Boom, boom. You know what? No, you do right. kill who you love. But we, we can go on. That's days where Wayne went? Did I kill him? She killed him. She killed him. He dead. But anyway. But I speaking right. of, but I just want to. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Well, that's the thing. So, you know, people have been protesting that for years and years. How many protests have you seen anti gun anti gun violence put down the guns? I know I've seen that well, in my now, communities well, now, Rick, many, many times, and now, it never gets the same type of media attention or anything. And so, this the Parkland High School survivors, though, largely white school, well, you can it was ch- see ch- the difference. And so, him saying, you know what, now that we have all of this attention on us, let's also talk about what's happening in black and Latino communities and not forget that they're suffering gun violence too. And so I do think he can use his privilege and all of the attention he's getting to you know, help out in that situation as well. But that doesn't mean... That's not his privilege. But that's that's not, the attention that he is getting. But because, that's privilege. That's no. a, he's getting the attention because of okay. the privilege in the first place. Okay. So that's why. We, okay. This is why. Okay, so you know what else is happening, guys? You know why she won't cut me off? But I'm not because, but you know we, what can't, because we can't make this segment like seven minutes. But, but right? what we're gonna do is you guys chime in in the comments in right. our YouTube page and our Facebook. I know page. what I know what I read recently that they have bulletproof book bags. Did you know that this Michigan company had was bulletproof? It, was it bulletproof or see through? No, bulletproof book bags. A Michigan uh, a Michigan company, and they're selling them at Target and Walmart. Google it, guys, and let us know what you think about that. So what if they shoot you from the front? Now what you gonna do? Just put your... You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. It's we'll be ridiculous. right back. It's ridiculous. Welcome back to What's the 4 and one Now, Alnika is sharing something. What's popping? So you know Megan Good, right? And you know yes. her husband, Devon Franklin? Mm-hmm. So he's, he posted recently. He said that um, we need to separate dating and marriage. Right. Okay. So what what what's happening? He, what he said it's in a quote. He says, "There's a time to act like a husband and wife, mm-hmm. but that doesn't come until you're actually husband and wives. Like everybody is doing. You want to be booed up, but bigger than booed up, they're acting as if they're they're married when they're not. Right. right. Buying the right. cow, and not buying the cow, and getting the milk. Milk and bow. Something about milking milk. and a cow. <laughs> milking and a cow is happening, and it should be the reverse. Okay. So okay. what do you think about that? Um, I don't know. I think he's making a good point because, again, why are you... And you've said this before, actually, on previous shows, where it's like, okay, look, you're giving this guy your everything. You're all. Y'all are together you're making him breakfast you're making him dinner you're giving him the the milk as you just said and so he feels no motivation to do anything beyond that he's like our relationship is already good as it is why get married and so if women and i i think this is so sexist but you know if women are wanting to get married and that's their goal then they should not act like they're married before they actually are so i do see his point in this in this way i definitely see that and what do you think what do you think? I just, I, I mean, it's, I, I agree. Welcome back to What's the 411. Now, our last segment, we were talking about dating and marriage, right? Okay, so we're going to keep with that theme. Michael Balboro, do you know him? So mm-hmm. he's the host of The Daily. So if you guys don't know, he's the host of The Daily, which is a New York Times um, podcast, which is so dope. Right, it's through your Alexa flash briefing. So are we. So you can do what's the four one one. You can you can say Alexa, p- play what's the four one one, and you'll and get us. We are. And you'll get yes. us. 
exactly. as you should. But exactly. anyway, right? <laughs> Back to the marriage and stuff. So Michael mm -hmm. is broke up with his husband. Okay. His husband. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now is dating a female producer oh. of another show at the Times. What? So my question to you, okay. Miss Kizzy Doll, okay. is, and to you guys, right? With this sexually fluid society, uh -huh. right? Would you date for the women? Would you date a man that was married to another man, and then for the guys, the flip? Okay. The guys probably would do it, but so let's just stay okay. on the females, right? Let's just stay on the females. Okay. <laughs> you, Miss Kizzy Doll. Would you date a man that was married or dating okay. another man? Okay. Bisexual, you know. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it just depends. I, I really don't know. It would have to be, I guess. I, I just I don't know. It I'm would surprised have to be, that you're saying this. I don't because I think it's the your question, Caribbean roots. No, the, I think the, the mind dead. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you ain't got no. die, but you ain't gonna be messing with her. No, okay, so. the thing is, I don't know. It just depends on the the vibe I get from him and all that. But I think the question really implies that men cannot be bisexual, Sexual, and man. I think that they can be bisexual. Like you know, we were talking about Kenya Barris earlier in the show, like uh -huh. Blackish. Um, and this was on his, you know, this, the little show, Grownish, mm -hmm. um, where they had actually a um, Zoe has uh -huh. a friend, and the friend is bisexual, uh -huh. bisexual girl bisexual dating, girl. Mm -hmm. and she's dating this guy. They get along great, and then he says, you know, I am, you know, bi. I've dated men, and she's like, screw that, hell no, you're not gonna date me anymore, and just dropped him. I think a lot of women feel like that. Exactly, it's like this double standard and I'm like I think that this is legitimate like you know you were married to a guy it didn't work out and now you're attracted to this woman and you're with her like you know so I, I think it's a real thing and we gotta just so what, how people. do you think this should be handled we should just be like okay that that's okay I think it's, it's them that's their couple that's what they do that's the bond that they have then that's that but so, it, so it wouldn't be okay for you I don't know I can't say it wouldn't be I can't say it wouldn't be, but I'm not. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't. I don't Would know. Would it be okay for you? I don't think so. Why? Because you don't think he can be bi. Um. Well, men are way easier than women. <laughs> okay. Because so, like men, you know, they just like gay men have a lot of sex. I just want to say that. I'm sorry, guys. Don't come for my edges because they coming back. Yeah, they coming back. They coming about to, back. About to get but like, cut off the game. I, I, just just being in a, a relationship like that where you're already thinking about women and and just like to just open up that plethora of like it's just everybody. I guess it's about trust then, right? Exactly. That's what I mean. It's just, just it depends trust. on the vibe that you get from the person that you're with and whether they're trustworthy and they're being honest some people and the say bond that, they, that you have. they're not yeah. gay or they just fell in love with the same sex. You know, people say that. There, there are people who say that too. And I would prefer this to someone being on a DL. You know what I mean? Like, you know, just be open. This is what it is. And So this is yeah. our sex segment. Someone this is clearly... <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're a regular viewer of our show, and you should be, you should have subscribed to our YouTube channel, What's the 41 TV. Um, and, and share you know, the links and share the links <laughs> share them on your social media share them on your Facebook you get our little segments share them come on make us really really famous guys <laughs> alright she, she won an award now she won Sorry. an award now no, that's what you that have is. the award and you know what that's good journalism I'm just saying Go okay ahead. And so, you know, we talk about sex dolls a lot. That was a very awkward segue. I don't know how. Good journalism. <laughs> we talk about sex, sex dolls. dolls. No, I don't that, know. That's reporting. You started talking about sex dolls before they even hit the mainstream. You were talking about them in Korea. So, I Listen, mean, anyway. kind of edge reporting, actually. Now, okay, so now, you know, before it was just sex dolls, boom, you do your business and that's it. Now, though... Chinese are working on a sex doll that has artificial intelligence so it can interact with you. Like what? Right? So, well, there's another one. There's a guy um, in Barcelona, an engineer, who created one where, like, if you touch her on, like, her hip, she says, that's very nice. She'll I say, love oh. that. Yes. It's like, I can't get Siri <laughs> to tell me where I'm going. She's like, I don't understand, Annika. And <laughs> Annika. She's like, I don't, that's what she calls me. Annika. Annika. Oh Her my and Alexa, God. they both oh call me Annika. But 
So yes. they got this lace. She said, so she, oh, ah. Uh, yeah, so she uh, is designed poppy. to like, you know, interact with you and say she likes something and or she doesn't like it or do it no, more. No, she's, she's not going to she say said, she or doesn't she said like gentle. it. She says, do it more gently. She says that. Gently? Yes. Not harder, harder? And then, yes, yes, sure, <laughs> and then sure. she has different modes. So she has, she has a family mode, a romantic mode, a sexy mode. So you know anything that you're kind of in the mood for, your sex doll can provide for you. Guess what? You're gonna have to let these guys be gay because <laughs> they're not gonna need us anymore. <laughs> they well, have so many options. They have so many well, they're options. Well, they make men. They make male sex dolls too. So I don't know a woman that would buy it. But I'm saying man, men might, there might be some gay men who want a little bit of affection too. You, I think gay men are covered mostly, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Wow. Well, is this good? Is this good for society? Is this a good thing? Uh, absolutely not, but robots are here to stay. Like we're sitting up there talking about get us on Alexa flash briefing, right? So it just is what it is. You just got to. Okay. You just got to embrace it. I just didn't know that it was going to be rubber, like the whole thing. They're like, going to have a guy driving. You ever have like a plastic man driving <laughs> a car? This is my man. This is this is Rubber Ray. Me and Rubber Ray are together now. because Rubber Ray Ray. She done killed Ray Ray. Ray. No, but the real Rubber, Ray it's Ray. Ray. It's going to be Rubber Ray now because <laughs> this is what's the same. Nobody wants to talk to each other anyway. Oh, so this is just what's happening. Guys, uh -uh. We, and, and there's no stopping it. No, it's gonna, not. I'm just going to wait for Oprah to call me. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll be right back. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. So our quote of the week is, remember, despite how open, peaceful, and loving you attempt to be, nice. people can only meet you as deeply as they have met themselves. Amen. That's deep. That's, That's deep. deep. That's really deep. And this is a quote attributed to Matt Kahn and was posted by Denise Hurley. Now, if you would like us to shine a light on your quote, hit us up on shine Facebook. On <laughs> Facebook or LinkedIn. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. And our photo of the week is of the lovely Miss Angela Bassett slaying on the red carpet at the Mission Impossible Fallout premiere in D.C. Nice. Girl! Nice. That little black. Do it! Onika. Ma'am. Can you believe it? No. What? We've Where come we? to the end of the show. The time always goes so fast, though. That's going to do it. For this week's edition of What's the 4 in 1, your smart source for urban and lifestyle and entertainment news. Nice. So listen to this. You guys can get more of us, mm -hmm. always more of us. You can check out our website at what's the 411.com. Yes. And hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 411 TV. And you can find our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Stitcher, and TuneIn. Yes. I am Kizzy Cox, and on behalf of my co-host, Anika McLean, thank you for spending your time with What's the 411.